the tension level between the United States and China continues to rise. The idea of a new Cold War doesn't seem so far-fetched any longer. Are you reevaluating your China strategy? Yeah, well, I think um, uh, I, I, I think you have to uh, be thoughtful about what's going on between the U.S. and China. I mean, it affects a lot of a lot of things. I mean, these you know you have these two massive economic superpowers, and there's so many things that are intertwined. Ultimately, um, I mean, just as an example, we, I was I was on a, a board call the other day, and we were talking about supply chain, and part of it we get from China, and important parts of it we get from China. So mm -hmm. as a result of that, you, you, you just have to be thoughtful about that. Um, you know, I, I would say also- I, I'm gonna push you though, because yep. you know, people might misinterpret what thoughtful means. Does thoughtful mean change? Um, I think thoughtful means that you have to make certain changes because you have to, I think in the current environment, given the, 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 um, the elevated level of risk, you have to make certain changes to lessen your dependency. I think if you don't, you do, you potentially, you know, you do it at your own peril. So I think that um, we, we would be advocating for our companies to think about lessening their dependence. That doesn't mean cut it off. Okay. But that means, that means risk manage. That means risk manage. That makes sense. Now we don't know where this is going. But it's possible, right, that the battlefield may extend from where it is right now, which is trade technology and security, I would say, broadly speaking. It might extend into finance. President Trump has effectively threatened that, that, it, that it might. He might even have threatened that it will. Mm -hmm. What if that happens? You, know, you can think of all kinds of reprisals the Chinese might take, yep. for good, perhaps for good reason, as, as far as they see the world. Do you worry that your, your capital might become stranded there? Um, yeah, I do a little bit. <laughs> I do. I mean, I, I think that, um, you know, you can, you can, again, as you, uh, you can war game, you know, a bunch of different scenarios on this, right. In terms of like what might happen. Um, you know, when you, when you, you do have to, I think, consider what might be some of the most, um, uh, profound changes that could occur. Um, adverse outcomes and you right, adverse outcomes. And one of them could be that there is a, um, that that relationships and, and economic activity effectively freezes between the U.S. and China. Now, do I believe that will happen entirely today? I think it's a low likelihood. It's certainly a higher likelihood than it was, but I believe it's a low likelihood. So as a result of that, you do have to worry about um, level of investment, how much how much how much value um, is 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 um, you have as a as an investment organization, how much value that you have and how much value and what you're flowing to China, because if it gets stranded or if it gets frozen for some reason and you can't get your money out, then obviously it has significant implications. So we are thinking about those things. Again, I'm not suggesting that we think we're there, but I think we are evaluating a bunch of risks that if we ended up having effectively, let's, let's think of it as like a blackout on our relationship with China what are those risks? And so we are evaluating those things and we are taking some actions to try to think about um, how we risk manage around that. 